Hello everybody, my name is Kidlot404, welcome back to my channel where you're watching a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 commentary on the Nintendo Wii U. Very quickly before I talk about the commentary, I just want to say I know I haven't been making YouTube videos in quite a while. I've been playing the games, you know, I have four games right here, Black Ops 2, Mario U, Nintendo Land, and Zombie U. I've been playing the games by myself, but, you know, it's kind of hard to allot so much time, you know, playing the game. It already takes a long time to play all these games. You already know, like, Black Ops 2, for example, it takes a long time to prestige and all that. You know, it takes a long time to play the games in addition to making YouTube videos, and especially since my life is so packed with school and friends and other important stuff. YouTube really takes a back burner in my life so that's kind of the reason I haven't been making YouTube videos but I kind of you know suggested to myself a way to kind of alleviate these because most of the stuff that I'm doing right now are kind of like big projects tutorial based projects where it takes a lot of time to make a video not just a quick commentary these quick commentaries are easy to make you know I just talk about my thoughts and feelings or whatever and they're produced really quickly however these bigger projects like for example new Super Mario Brothers U I'm working on speed running that game I really like that game a lot so I want to try to do my first speed run of that game you know that takes a lot a lot of time to kind of you you know, understand the levels and to plan everything out. And then, you know, making that just one video is going to take weeks and weeks on end. So what I've decided to do is kind of chunk out um, my projects and give a little piece to you guys. I'm going to upload, you know, every day. I'm going to try to upload four videos a day, one for each game that I'm playing. And they're going to be just little tidbits of the projects that I'm working on. For example, on Mario U, I'm going to be uploading a level a day of where I speed run the levels in Nintendo Land. I'm going to upload probably a mini game. A day and Black Ops 2 obviously um, I'm gonna do a commentary every day but you know the stuff for Black Ops 2 I'm working on you know the best controller tutorial Wiimote settings tutorial like a bunch of stuff I really sincerely am working on it but it's just it's hard for me to spend so much time doing YouTube so much time playing video games and then so much time planning out all these big projects so I hope you guys understand that's why the content on this channel is kind of a little iffy right now but I'm smoothing it out and you know by tomorrow or the next day it should be all smoothed out and my uploading cycle should be as planned so I hope you guys understand that but enough of me talking let's get into the actual commentary and I want to talk about my Wii remote woes as you probably know it's really hard to play Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the Wii remote it's very different the control settings are very different than they were in Modern Warfare 3 I kinda wanna give you a little bit of insight to the past so for example in COD 4 you know there was the first I guess Call of Duty game on the Nintendo Wii and they you know created the controls for it or you know one of the first I'm, I'm sure World at War came before but COD 4 since I didn't earn World at War uh, was the first one for me and they had specific controls for that game. They weren't really smooth, they weren't really sophisticated, but they were there. Then came Black Ops 2 and they kind of made the controls a little bit better for the Wii Remote. They made, you know, fine-tune a little bit more settings, things like that. So the control was better in Black Ops 2. And then the same for Modern Warfare 3. In fact, for Modern Warfare 3, they included even more control settings, like one that kind of tweaked how accurately the Wii Remote, um, you know, measures your hand movements and all that stuff. I thought that was a really smart idea. And in my opinion, I think Modern Warfare 3 had the best controls for uh, the Wii Remote. It was so customizable. I could get it to exactly exactly what I wanted to get it at, more so than Black Ops and COD 4. Now into Black Ops 2, they've actually taken a lot of stuff out in terms of customization. For example, cursor sensitivity is non-existent. That sensitivity, I'm not sure about the name, but the one that reads your hand movements and all that stuff, that's non-existent. And it's just kind of a bare bones thing. For example, you know, just for hip firing, the only control settings that control hip firing are the dead zone, camera sensitivity, and horizontal speed. Nothing else. Only three things. And you know, with only three things, you're not really going to get exactly what you want. You know, we want that customization. We want all of those things that we can, you know, customize to put together to make our own custom, my own, you know, personal control settings. That's what I really want for Black Ops 2. I've heard on the forums that there's going to be a patch for that. And so, you know, likely, guys, I'm not going to be playing on the Wii Remote because it's just so hard for me right now. I can't get my control settings. This is probably the best game that I got for you guys. I think I went 30 kills and maybe 5 or 4 deaths or something like that here on Turbine. And it was a slow game on Team Deathmatch, and that's my Wii Remote woes. I just can't get my settings like I would, like it was in Modern Warfare 3. If they just ported over the exact Modern Warfare 3 settings, and I, I just hope they do, you know. I don't understand why they keep having to change the Wii Remote settings in every game, taking stuff out, putting stuff in, and all that stuff. You know, you're supposed to expand on the previous game, so I don't understand why they can't just bring Modern Warfare 3, maybe give even more settings or something like that, and then, you know, we'll be all happy in the end instead of, like, taking stuff out, and then the Wii Remote users are like, what you know 
You know, I'm not really used to dual analog sticks. I know Mr. Hunt Noobs, my friend, he really hates dual analog sticks, and he likes the Wii Remote, and I like the Wii Remote too. I like playing with it. I mean, I've, I've built a lot of my gameplays upon the Wii Remote, and now that I can't use the Wii Remote to my advantage like I used to before, it kind of sucks, and, you know, I can't give you the content that I would like to give you guys. Excuse me, so... Hopefully the developers can kind of fix that around. I mean, like I said, if it's just a quick patch, I hope they can patch in all the all the controls that we're missing. But yeah, guys, that's my Wii Remote woes. I can't really get good gameplays for you guys, especially with like aim assist. You know, with the Classic Controller Pro, Wii U Pro Controller, and GamePad, they all have a really huge aim assist. And you know, aiming with that is easy. It's a piece of cake. You know, the, the controller pretty much homes in on the opponent every time you shoot, and the recoil gets mitigated a lot. With the Wii Remote, there's a lot of you know natural recoil because your your natural hand movements and all that stuff if you know what I mean it's really hard to stay on target and you know you kind of end up aiming all over the place and your aiming gets all spazzed out and all that stuff so that's kind of the unfortunate part for the Wii Remote but like I said man uh, yeah I just I just hope that they give the patch real soon so us Wii Remote users can you know dominate the battlefield once again and you know we're just gonna have to wait in the future for that so that's the commentary, quick commentary uh, for Black Ops 2. Expect videos to be uploaded for every game, four videos a day for each game, every day. So, uh, yeah, my name is Killot404, and if you enjoyed the video, uh, I hope you guys stick around. Peace. Thanks for watching everybody, if you enjoyed the video then I would appreciate it if you could give it a like and or favorite as these two things do improve my YouTube network. And also if you go to my main page, you can see a list of games I'm currently playing at the top. Just click on a particular game and subscribe to it if you only want to receive video content from that particular game. Or if you're a big Nintendo fan like I am and like a lot of games, you can subscribe to my actual channel to receive all the content I produce. I'll leave you guys with more videos to watch and thank you very much again for supporting me, Killout404, and the Nintendo Wii U.